This is the largest lake of Europe, Lake Vernon, in the heart of Sweden. I'm out on an adventure with my kayak today, exploring its wide coastline and spending a cozy night on one of its countless remote islands. It's just crazy how big this lake is. I mean, I wish I could show you, but it's just too big to get a grasp of it. It's crazy. One of the greatest things about kayaking, besides being able to access remote places that you couldn't access on foot, is that you can bring some extra treats because you don't have to carry everything on your back. Hmm. I've been paddling for 10 kilometers so far. I've never been as far out on this lake as today and the plan is to find a cozy island to camp on and to prepare the fireplace and to get cozy for the evening very very soon. This island looks cozy, let's check it out. The first thing I'm looking for is a flat spot to pitch the tent, which should be no problem on this island because it's perfectly flat. The second thing I'm looking for is some firewood. And then I'll be chilling for a second and just listen to my body. Look how I feel about this place because if you don't feel good about your camp spot, no matter the reason, you will not have 
a good and cozy night. I guess we found our home for the night. This is the perfect spot. Most of my gear is exactly the same gear I use for backpacking. The main difference is my tent. I brought a way bigger and more comfortable tent because it easily fits inside my kayak and I don't have to carry it. And this tent is freestanding because all of these islands are massive rocks. And if you need to stake your tent down in order to pitch it, you're massively screwed out here. Quick test. <sighs> yes, feels flat and level. Toilet paper. My pillow. The most comfortable sleeping mat in the world. I went in detail about it on my backpacking gear video if you're interested in checking it out. And a cozy sleeping bag. Also a bigger and warmer one than I bring on my backpacking trips. Again, because I don't need to carry it. Look at this beast, it's an absolute king size bed and I love it. I'm finally having good night's sleep in my tent. We'll be having a fire tonight. Not the biggest one, but we'll be having a fire. Thank you. 
I know this looks like a perfect summer evening, but it's almost autumn up here in Sweden and the water is super, super cold. Round two, you can give me all the pasta in the world and I would still enjoy it. Being present in each and every moment, soaking in the beauty that surrounds us, taking nothing for granted and embracing what is laying ahead. That's a big goal of mine. And being out in nature alone, trying out new stuff and facing my fears is the biggest lesson I could imagine. I bet you also have some dreams and goals out here in nature, otherwise you wouldn't have sticked around for so long. Please do me a favor and make these dreams come to life. Even if things don't go to plan, you might even learn more about yourself and have an experience you will never forget. It's okay to be afraid. I also am. But don't let your fears hinder you doing what you love. Be mindful, careful, listen to your body and you will be just fine. I hope 
to see you very very soon bye